Basel Committee on Banking Supervision was really concerned about uh, the com compliances for credit risk and uh, the accounting for uh, the losses. Uh, we know that there are two schools of thoughts in the world. One is uh, more related to uh, for accounting, there are two schools of thought. One is U.S. GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, and we have a wide uh, IESP that uh, that issues IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards. So, as the way you use accounting, you adopt um, IFRS 9 or 7 or IES 32, 39. So, implementation results, everything gets changed. So, how it Goes. What are the effect? What is the compliance of Basel Committee? This is what is our topic for the day, and we will see that uh, what is the responsibility for um, uh, adopting and how what is the supervisory guidance for credit risk and accounting is available. We'll see the principle um, with the numbers like principle one that the bank board of director is uh, strictly uh, our senior management are strictly responsible for ensuring the bank has appropriate credit risk policies. Um, banks should adopt document adherence to the sound methodologies in terms of internal controls, effective SOP standard operating procedures. A bank should have a credit risk process. So through this uh, department you can handle, you should handle this way. A bank should have a credit um, a risk uh, policy uh, in fact, in short, you should have a credit, credit risk management uh, along with uh, banks' aggregate amount of allowances. Uh, banks should have a policies in order to validate the methodologies. Uh, they should have a judgmental experience, um, especially when the situation is into macroeconomic factors. Uh, a bank should have a credit um, sound assessment system. Um, public disclosures are really important. They should have a system that promote transparency, compatibility by providing timely, relevant report. Uh, the word that we use is smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timely reports they should produce on. And there are a lot of uh, other, um, uh, you can say, supervisory evaluations like bank supervisors should, uh, supervisors like bank supervisors should periodically evaluate the uh, the bank's credit risk policies. So it's really important that you should have a charter, you should have policies, you have standard operating procedures. These are should be best in class and you should benchmark against uh, the best standard then you should have compliances, your local, regional, and international, and Basel compliances you have to follow on. Uh, your system should periodically be updated because risk, you cannot say that risk is being the control. Every day there is a risk. You have to have an adaptability, fact flexibility in order to manage your risk. And this is um, how the risk management policies are really becoming important when you have losses how to show them what accounting policies you have to take up and a lot of similar topics we are going to discuss shortly that's a really interesting and it will add value in our uh, supervision supervisory and uh, compliance uh, procedures